and laughs in all that I create. In today's video, we're going to get creative with clothespins. I'll show you how to create five quick and easy craft projects that cost very little to make. First, a tip. Do not buy your clothespins in the craft section. At my local store, they were $2 for 24 in the craft section. Over in the department with the laundry supplies, they were $2 for 100 So don't overpay for clothespins. I'm using my Permapeg markers on all of these projects. These come in a couple of different sizes, with the smaller markers being great for writing text and the larger markers being handy for coloring. These markers have a paint-like ink, but without the mess or drying time of paint. I highly recommend using these markers for your clothespin crafts, and I'll explain more about why as we work on our projects. First, let's make a quick chore chart. I'm using a scrap of chipboard as my base, but you can also use regular cardboard. I have these cute chalkboard labels I found at the dollar spot. You could also use scrapbook paper and make your own labels. I'm writing the chores using a white permapeg marker. It shows up well on dark surfaces, and it looks a lot like chalk. Write each person's name on a clothespin using a fine point permapeg marker. You might be wondering whether you can use a regular permanent marker instead. In my experience, permanent markers tend to bleed on wood with the ink spreading into the grain of the wood and giving you blurry lines. These permapaint markers perform much better on wood. I'm adding a bit of color to match my chore chart. If you have small children who can't read yet, you might want to give each child a different color. Add a magnet to each corner on the back of the chipboard. These magnets are self-adhesive, but you could also attach them with a hot glue gun. Clip on the names and hang on the fridge. You can rotate the clothespins to give each person a turn. No more arguing over chores. Next, I want to make a cute little sunburst wreath for my gallery wall. I'm using a small wood embroidery hoop. You can make this using any size hoop you'd like. Remove the outer ring as we will only be using the inner ring. Clip the clothespins all the way around, leaving a small gap between each. Tie a piece of twine or ribbon for hanging. I don't, 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 don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss a chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't. Why don't I try this at home? Try this at home. I'm coloring the smaller segment of each clothespin with a silver permapake marker. Permapakes come in a variety of metallic hues, which is a fun way to add a little shimmer to your decor. I love how clean and simple this looks on my wall. I've seen a lot of variations of this next project online. You can recycle a tuna can to become a pen holder or a planter. Clean the can and ensure it has no sharp edges. If you wish to use it as a planter, use a hammer and nail to add a few holes for water drainage. Color the clothespins as desired. I love the look of permapake markers with the natural wood, so I'm only going to color the larger segments of these clothespins. I'm using the chisel end of the marker to color them quickly. As you can see, it's much neater than trying to paint. There's no need to tape off the area by the spring. I can also flip these over and immediately color the other side without waiting for paint to dry. Clip the clothespins around the edge of the can. If this is a pen holder, add your pens and you're finished. If this is a planter, add a bit of gravel to the bottom to aid in proper drainage. I bought this bag of gravel at the dollar store. Add your plant and top with a bit more gravel. 
I found this project works best with succulents, which require dry soil and very little water. Here's a project that only takes a couple of minutes to make. Craft a cute set of chip clips by labeling clothespins. They're handy for keeping chips fresh, and you can use them for bread, veggies, and cereal bags as well. Let's finish up with a recycled, rustic photo frame. The glass in this wood frame broke, and I don't even have the backing to it anymore. But I can still turn it into something cute. Hammer a small nail or tack into the left and right surfaces of the frame. Knot a piece of twine or wire between the two pieces, pulling it taut. Color the clothespins as desired. I'm using a copper permapig marker to match my tacks. Print small photos and clip them to the twine using the clothespins. Or keep a stack of scrap paper and a pen nearby and use this as a message board. I hope you enjoyed crafting these five quick clothespin projects with me. To learn more about the permapig markers I used, visit my sponsor, sakuraofamerica.com. For hundreds more crafting tutorials, visit my website at madebymarzipan.com. Try this at home.